Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. This week we're going to cover the Arizona Twister. All this family of drink liquids go into the Arizona Twister. It's pretty cool. It's gonna taste awesome. Um, so we're gonna have one and a half ounces of our alcohol. So that's gonna include the coconut rum, the tequila, we got more alcohol here. And we got some Tito's Handmade American Vodka. Definitely the best vodka in, in the US at least, and one of the best I've had. We also gonna do some dashes and splashes this week. We've got dashes and splashes of orange juice, pineapple. We got this little slimy wedge of pineapple. I just bought at the store and I like a pineapple thing. You just cut it up and carve out little wedges for yourself. A little grenadine, this is where the dash comes into play. We're gonna mix it this week. We're not gonna use our shaker, which is just a little weird. And a new type of glass. This is the hurricane glass. I got it at Rainforest Cafe and apparently Orlando. Uh, you get it when you order crazy drinks like maybe the Arizona Twister. And last but not least, we got this guy here. This is <laughs> cream of coconut. It's kind of a, you got it says shake vigorously. It's kind of thick, but it works and it adds such an awesome taste to it. So we're gonna start with the Hurricane Glass. You could buy these, you could also you buy these online. I saw you could buy them, you could put your own logos on there. Maybe we'll make some of those someday. If anybody wants Everyday Drinkers, Common Man Cocktail logo glasses, just let me know, dshomer at everydaydrinkers.com and I'll print them up. Um, and this stuff, this, this little cream of coconut, you could buy at a grocery store, usually in the same area as the grenadine. I found it tends to be right next to the wines. So right wherever they centralize all the alcohol, that's where you want to check it out. So we're also going to measure in one ounce increments. So let's start with, I don't know, ice. That should be enough ice. You can add as much as you want. If you fill it too much, you're just gonna end up overflowing the drink. It's just alcohol, right? All right, let's start with tequila. We're gonna do one and a half. One. And a half, maybe a little more than a half, but I like tequila. I need to get another bottle. We're gonna do all the alcohols first because we'll show you how the dashes and splashes work later. So do one and a half. You may also notice it's very similar in proportion to a Long Island iced tea. It's just missing half the whites, but it's got half of them. <laughs> And our big old bottle of Parrot Bay rum. This is a Parrot Bay coconut flavored rum. One. Now if your alcohol is not chilled, you'll notice the ice is already starting to melt. It'll make it easier to stir. Now, let's throw in this cream of coconut. Some crazy stuff. We're going to do a splash. I call that a splash. If you really like coconut, you can add as much as you want. But if you're making it for guests, you might want to just measure wisely and a little at a time because it's, uh, it's pretty strong. Now we're going to do a splash, which is really just enough to color it. <laughs> a splash is a little more than a dash none of which are standard units of measure, so you just kind of eyeball it. And really, we're just gonna add our little flavors in here. Lastly, the grenadine. This is very moderate. That'll do. Stir it up. Now from all the research I've done, you want something that's, it could be anywhere from yellow to slightly pink, depending on your definition of splash and dash. I like the, the peach color myself. Throw our garnish on there. Mmm. Mario-like. All right, I think we're ready to taste it. Check it out. It's kind of pretty looking. I 
That's intense. Not a lot of alcohol flavoring. Right away you get a lot of coconut. Just, it's like blast your senses with coconut. I, I'm gonna blame this with a little hint of our friend Parrot Bay. But it, it then right after the coconut starts to go away, you get an aftertaste of a pineapple-y, orange surprise. I mean, kind of like, like the yellow, those orange creamsicles with the white cream in the middle. The, those, those, it kind of looks that same color. I don't taste any vodka at all. I guess that's normal. You don't normally taste vodka. Tequila, I think they just make a good marriage. There's not a lot of, not a lot of alcohol taste to it. Very uh, Polynesian. I could totally see myself on like a cruise drinking these things, sitting on the, you know, at the pool and having people just keep refilling it until I pass out. I highly suggest you give this a try. Creamy, sweet, not too sweet, not too tropical, not not overpowering in anything. Maybe on the coconut side, but I think I like that. So that's your Arizona Twister. You can reach us at iTunes. Go to iTunes. You can check us out at everydaydrinkers.com. You can search and subscribe to us on iTunes. Do a search for Common Man Cocktails if you want the video show, Everyday Drinkers if you want them both. And I'm your host, Derek Schomer, and we're teaching you how to drink.